Jesus, they failed to understand him because he was on another level of spirituality. And these are the people that look at him with experience of church experience. As long I've been a pastor. Who's this one? Who's this one? As long I've been here. Just know that you are dying. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm saying to you. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, from today, allow Holy Spirit to teach you how to grow. Or else you're going to give other people a problem. You will hate even people that are not supposed to be hated. Because you can't grow. If you don't grow, you start to compare yourself with people. Say, but why? Because you can't grow. You are stagnant. Growth opens your mind. Because God will take you from this level and put you here. Take you from here. You put, it's growth. You're growing. You're growing. You're growing. But those that are... There are people that they've been Christians from 1950 something. Even today, they are still children. No revelation, nothing. Um, they are just Christians because you know it has become a religion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Till and ever for the last time. If you fail to grow you will fight those that are growing. Because you will never understand how they are passing you. You will never understand. You will question everything. Why this one is passing me like this? No, you are, you are failing to grow. Hallelujah. You are, you are ready to grow this week. You want to grow this week? Huh? You cannot be an empty Christian for so long like this. You are a child. Every time you must be fed. When you cannot grow. You, you must be fed all the time. Anything. Whether business, your job, your career, ministry, whatever. If it fails to grow. It means it's dying. I'm sure you're hearing me. From today, I want to give you an assignment. Go and check your life around you. Where am I growing? If I'm not growing, it means I'm dying. Hallelujah. You know, if you fail to grow, one time I said, the church of today, if we bring Jesus to come and minister here, we can crucify him again. If you remember that. You know what is the reason? Because he will be on another level. And we are here. And we are looking and saying, ah, but who's this one now? Who's this one? And if he's thinking he knows too much. No. You are failing to grow. When you fail to grow, it will take time to understand spiritual people. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Yes, huh? yes, if you fail to grow, you will, it will take time for you to understand those that are spiritual. It will take time. Because when I, since you have been born again since 1990 something, until today, there's no change. You, the only thing you know is to wear clothes on Sunday, you're going to church. You come out, you eat rice, that's it. Today, after we pray for you, may God give you a spiritual growth in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying to you. Ask your neighbor, you want to grow? If you don't grow, you will kill other people. You will destroy them. You will crucify them. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Yeah. You are ready for prayer now? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure this week you are going to pray and say, God, please help me. Help me to grow in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Because those that are failing to grow, they are the same people 
who said to Jesus, this one, he thinks he knows too much. That's why they crucified him. Remember, Jesus was not crucified by Athens. It was pastors who crucified him, isn't it? Huh? It was the church that crucified him. Because they could not understand. And if you want to understand, it means you must be on the same level with him. Spiritual growth. Hallelujah. I'm sure God will help you this week, isn't it? You will grow. Are you sure? Uh, are, you, are you sure you'll grow this week? Huh? You won't destroy other people because of your stagnancy? Huh? Lift up your hands. Because I want to pray for you. And I believe Jesus will help. But remember my words. Anything that does not grow, sitting on one place, is dying. So now, you must not die. That business must not die. That marriage must not die. That ministry in you must not die. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying to you. Lift up your hands.